Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. I have been solving math problems for GRE out of this book here, practicing to take the GRE general test, the 10th edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. The problem that I'm about to solve is the one that you're going to find on page number 291, quantitative comparison question, number 7 rather. Number seven. Let's take a look at it. They give you two quantities. Point nine times point nine versus point nine times point nine times point nine. Times point nine. The, con the concept that they're testing here, it's a very simple concept that they're testing here, which is what happens when you square a fraction, a fraction between, uh, between uh, 0 and 1. For example, if you have a half and if you square it, see traditionally, traditionally if I ask you, if I, traditionally if I ask you which quantity is bigger, x and x squared, the gut feeling of most people would be to immediately say that x squared has to be bigger than x. But that's not necessarily true. It depends on what x is. If x happens to be more than one, that would, then it would be true. But what if it were x? X were between zero and one. If it x were a fraction, then if, so for example, if x is half, then half versus half squared. Half squared is same as half times half, which is a quarter. A quarter is actually less than a half. And that's all they're testing it. That's, the, that's all that they're trying to see here. If that, if you know that if you have a fraction and if you square it or take a cube root, cube, cube of it or, or, or take a fourth power of it, it gets smaller and smaller and smaller. That's what it is. So for example here, 0 0.9 times 0 0.9 is going to be 9 times 9 I know is 81. So two decimal places, 0 0.81. And here I have 0 0.81 which is 9 times 9 times 0 0.9. You don't have to waste your time. You don't have to waste your time doing it all out. Just, under, just understand that whatever this quantity is, 0.9 times 0.9, it plays no role. What it is is, there is some quantity here, and you have the same quantity here, and now you're taking 90% of it. If 90% of something, and 90% of something, 0.9 is 90%, you see, 90% of something has to be less than the whole thing. That's all. The answer is A. That's all. Answer is A. That's it, we're done. Now I'm going to do the same problem in a little bit different way. Now I'm going to do the same problem in a little bit different way. So let's take a look here. 0 0.9 times 0 0.9 versus 0 0.9 times 0 0.9 times 0 0.9. Before I do the before I do this problem, let's 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 digress. And if you don't know what digress means, look it up and learn it. Digress means to go off a topic. Let's digress for a second. If I ask you which quantity is bigger, 2 times 2 or 2 times 2 times 3, you could, you could if you wanted to, sit there and tell me that 4, this is 4 and this is 12 and therefore 12 is more than 4. You could do all of that if you wanted to, but if you did that, as I have told you many times before if you watched my previous clips, if you did all of that, you will be missing the bloody point. These questions are called quantitative comparison, which is precisely why I write down the word computation. Here you see in the in, in, a, in a brown brown ink, I write down the word computation and then I erase it. I erase it to emphasize the fact that these are not called quantitative computation, these are called quantitative comparison. You are to compare the bloody thing, not compute them. Do you understand? So for example, here I could actually do that out or realize that if I were to divide both columns by 2 times 2, if I were to divide both columns by 2 times 2, which is okay, as long as, as, long as I do the same thing to both columns, which is the same thing as doing the, which is which is equivalent of saying doing the same thing to the two sides of the equation. As long as I treat both columns the same way, it's not going to change the relative position of it. If column A is bigger than column B, column A will remain bigger no matter what kind of manipulation I do. As long as the manipulation, of course, are legitimate. Do you understand? But don't don't uh, it has to be a positive number. Don't mess with the negative numbers because negative number changes the sign. As long as you multiply or divide by or multiply, divide or add or subtract. Uh, as long as you multiply or divide by a positive number or add or subtract the same number, it doesn't change anything. So if I were to divide both columns by 2 times 2, this 2 times 2 cancels out. 
And basically what, I'm boiled, what, what it boils down to is that you're asking which one is bigger, one or three? Of course three is bigger. I don't actually have to do it all out. So I'm going to do the same thing again without showing you the childish, childish uh, details of the process. Here's what it is. If you ask me which one is bigger, uh, three times three or three times three times seven, well, I immediately realized that since three appears on both sides, it plays no role. Because if I were to divide, because if I were to divide both, both columns by three, this three will drop out and that three will drop out. Let's make it different so that it's interesting. Let's make it five. And then I noticed that five appears on both sides. Since five appears on both sides, therefore I realized that if I were to divide both columns by five, the five will drop out. So basically you're asking me to compare which one is bigger, five, one or seven. And of course seven is bigger. I don't have to sit there and waste my time trying to figure out this is 15 and this is 15 times 7 and therefore what, what is 15 times 7 and then tell me the answer. If you did all of that thing, you'll be missing the point as I said before. So same thing I'm going to do here. Since point 0.9 appears on both sides, if I were to divide both columns by point 0.9, the point 0.9 will drop out. Here's on the point 0.9, it appears here. I'm going to divide again one more time. So basically you're asking me to compare 1 versus point 0.9 and you're asking me are you smart enough to tell me which, which number is bigger, 1 or 0.9? Oh my god. That's all. The answer is A. But if you, of course, of course if you don't want to do this method, of course, you can always do the traditional method. This is, this is, actually, strictly speaking, this is the traditional, academic, proper, uh, classical method, orthodox method, the geeky method, the nerdy method, uh, the mathematical method, what I just did here. This is just for, for, for simplicity, if you want to multiply them out, realize that 0.9 times 0.9 is 0.81, and here we have 90% of 0.81, therefore 90% of 0.81, whatever the hell it is, you don't have to waste your time trying to figure it out, just understand that 90% of something has to be less than the something. That's all. I hope you found this helpful. If you wish to get hold of me for personal private tutoring, face-to-face -face tutoring, or over the phone, or through the internet, or if you have any questions at all, if there is anything I can do uh, for your preparation for GRE, if you need to buy the solutions to any of these problems, uh, get hold of me. Go to my website at www.preppreprep.com and send me an email. All right? Or you can go to www.keshwaniprep.com and send me an email. All right? Thank you. Bye.